2021 was odd. It was amazing and wonderful, but odd. <laughs> <laughs> I have never experienced anything like it. Oh, you just touched on that. It went by quickly and dried out forever. Mobile. <laughs> It's already two months into 2022 and like many things, my Patreon gift box got delayed. And like the year 2021, this year's gift box is a little odd too. I like to think of the gift box as some sort of extension of my social media accounts. Something that can be touched, smelled, something that goes beyond pictures and sounds. Some small items that can symbolize the year that has passed. Previous years, it has just come to me in my head as an idea that continued growing. <laughs> this year, it came to me from the people around me. My head has not been a good place for ideas to grow. But through the support and help from everyone around, the box got ready. And I think it makes sense. The box of 2022 collected during 2021. A thank you box from me and my family to the very kind hearted people out there have supported us throughout 2021 despite the lack of engagement and content from me. Sometimes I can't believe that you're still there. It feels a little too good to be true. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My mother-in-law video called me in late summer, showing me a collection of handmade insoles she's been making, asking if I wanted to include them in the gift box. She knew how much else I had going on taking care of the kids, and all the insoles are made by her and gifted with so much love and care. <laughs> I told my mother that I wanted to make something with the fabric we had found at the local secondhand shops. Maybe a bag. It stayed an idea until my mother decided she would do it for me, cutting, sewing and spinning the threads of every bag that is now sent out. Yohong's long visit to China during autumn was spent mostly on work related to our soaps. And this is the first product we've ever come up with. A collaboration with our friends at Yakma that we have kept up since 2020. This year the packaging is new. The design changed for the mugwort soap and we got a new black gadget berry bar. Yohong brought back half a suitcase of bars so that I could send them to you. Two bars each, and both with the same great yak milk base. For me, the garden has been my safe haven this year, bringing me a lot of relaxation and peace in an otherwise quite stressful time. So lastly, I'm including three tea bags with plants that I picked myself, apart from one ingredient hoping they will bring you some relaxing times too. Raspberry leaf from our garden and rose petals from a walk along the sea where my grandmother lives. Peppermint tea, also picked in a garden from a plant my mother gifted me. A mix of elderflower and red goji berry. Elderflower picked in a natural area in my hometown. And the goji berries are brought back from Qinghai by Yonghong. 
an odd gift bag with wishes of love, calm and care to you all. Thank you. Lots of love, Miriam and the family.